Hi. You gonna come and join the video? You can come and join. Okay, thank you. Hi. Doyle decided to join my video because he's my child. He's not going to school. He's an old man. I don't know if you're gonna learn anything new. Okay, well we're just gonna start the video like this then. Well, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, Doyle decided to join me for this video, so the orientation may change when he decides to leave, but he like really wanted to sit up here for some reason. Hi, I know, I know, I don't show you any attention, little sir. I don't show you any attention, oh my goodnesses. Um, so anyways, I am here today to talk about back to school, which I know it seems kind of odd because I don't have any kids besides this one right here. But I do have school age kids in my life. So I was chatting with Isabel, which is a school age child in my life, and we were talking about planners and notebooks and different things that she might need for this upcoming school year. And I wanted to kind of put together like a pack of stuff for her that I would have enjoyed when I I was starting my school year out. So thank you to the Erin Condren team for sending me some of this stuff to share with you today. And let's just get into it. This one's really disinterested now. Are you gonna get down? We're not talking about you in the video today, sir. So let's start with the first thing, which is a reusable bag. This is the floral print reusable bag. Doyle really wants to share with you guys. Oh my gosh, this is like a dog haul. <laughs> so anyway, um, so I thought this would be great for either like gym clothes or things like that to be put in. And then also, um, this is just gonna carry all the stuff that I need to give her. So anyway, but I love this print. It's so pretty. Um, this this one comes in a couple of different colors and I think there's another reusable bag. Oh, see, he's gone. He's done now. Let me redo the orientation of this camera. Oh, that's so much better. I don't have to crouch down now. <laughs> so anyways, getting back to the bag, I just thought this would be really nice to just put all the things in that I need to give her. And also, you know, this would be great for just a reusable bag to have in her locker or like put gym clothes in or things like that or just things that she needs to take home or whatever. But I just don't know. I just thought this would be really nice. And then, um, I asked Isabel kind of what she was looking for in a planner, so we decided on getting her a new academic planner, which she's very excited about. This is the 12-month undated in the colorful version, and it just has all of these beautiful pages so she can keep track of all her classes and projects and things like that. I did include one of these. Um, I got some of these for myself, but I included the rose gold one on her planner just because I'm not a huge fan of rose gold, plus it has the black background, which I kind of think looks nice with this setup, and she likes rose gold anyways. And then also this comes with these date dots because it is undated. So yeah, and then she did a little personalization to the front cover, sorry for the glare, because I'm sitting in front of a window. <laughs> So this is gonna go in the bag. And then also she decided to go with a larger notebook. This is the larger version in the wall. Wow, I don't know how to say this. The really pretty like old fashioned -y look with the hunter green color and she wanted it personalized and decided to go with the lined pages. And just to see the difference, this planner is a seven by nine. And here is the size difference. You can get the notebooks in the smaller version as well, but for school, it made more sense to, you know, for her to get the larger version for like taking notes and things like that. So she is set on this. Also, I thought this would be a great idea. I got this little bucket tin from the Target dollar spot um, a couple of weeks back and she requested pencils and then I also included some other things that I thought might be really good for school like the highlighters and then also um, the wet erase markers, the fine tipped ones just because the cover that she has, you can put notes on it or things like that in the wet erase marker and then wipe it off and it wipes off pretty easy or I think you can just like run water underneath it or something. But I thought this would be really nice in like, you know how the, most of the lockers have like shelves in there, like the top shelf. I think this would be really nice to put like pencils and erasers and like long things. So, you know, in the middle of class, if you need something, you can come and grab it or, you know, in your passing time or whatever they call it now. I don't know. I haven't been in school in a long time, you guys. <laughs> 
So I thought that would be really nice as well as a water bottle because everybody needs water and to stay hydrated. So got this Camelback water bottle and I will link that below. I'm pretty sure I can find this. I won't be able to find some of the other things I talk about, but I will leave the Erin Condren link down below too if you guys are interested in seeing that. But I just thought this would be really nice. And then also, um, you know, she's able to like write her name on there or something like that as well. And then the one thing I really wanted to chat about today is the new Erin Condren lunch totes. They are now in a larger size and this is the new lunch tote. I decided to go with the new woven wonder pattern in the lighter of the version. I think that there was another one that was like a blue and then you can also customize this as well to your own specifications. On the black, or on the black, on the back it is black as well and it does have the Erin Condren logo in this like faux leather and also it zips up. It's kind of that neoprene pattern. However, in the lunch tote, I didn't run, I really want to use it for lunch. I mean, clearly um, anyone can use this for anything, but I thought that this would be a great thing like on the inside of the locker to either put it on the bottom or the top shelf and use this really as like in a little emergency kit so I've packed a bunch of things away that I would want to use if I were in high school again but um, I want to show you what I put in here and then clearly you can put your own things in here or make it work for you this is gonna be more for a girl in high school but you know you can take anything from this and make it your own so first thing I packed away is this. This is actually something that I made uh, quite a while ago now, maybe a year or so ago, maybe maybe less than that, I'm not sure. Um, but I will link the video below on when I made this and how I made it. But um, I took Advil, Tylenol, Tums, Oscillium, Cough Drops, Dayquil, and non-drowsy cold and cough pills and thought that this would be a great thing. I mean, some things you can bring into schools, some things you can't. So clearly talk to your school before you bring in any kind of like medications, but these are all pretty basic, but you could, you know, figure it out to set, you know, have your needs fulfilled. So um, again, I haven't been in school in a long time, so um, you might not be able to bring in all of these things, but you know, we can figure that out together. So I love that idea. And then also, some face wipes to either wipe off makeup or if you're really sweaty after like gym class or something like that or it's just like really hot outside this is just like a really nice thing to have you can also use like baby wipes too or um like the hand wipes you can use as well i also grabbed um, a few tampons because that is definitely essential in an emergency kit some pads and liners because you know you gotta do it sometimes plus if you have this in your locker, you can always give one to a friend or something like that too. And you might not want to carry it around in your backpack every day. Also, I found this really cute little brush. It's a Con Air brush. It says Velvet Touch. And it's just like a soft, compact little brush, which is great for after you're working out or just if you just need to put your hair up or something like that and you need a little brush. I also grabbed this, which I thought was really great. It's the hand sanitizer with aloe in the up and up. And I got the one that has the like tie around it, which I kind of thought would be nice for like the outside of this maybe. I'm not sure how that would work, but um, even like sometimes inside of lockers, there's like hooks. You can even hook it onto there as well, um, especially if you were in a class that was a little bit messy. <laughs> Also, um, shout wipes. We all need shout wipes in our life because, again, things get messy. And then I grabbed this little travel size lint roller, which I thought would be really great, especially if you're wearing like black, because sometimes things just get a little linty. Also, for like makeup, I mean, clearly you can put your own makeup in there if you wear makeup or choose to wear makeup, but I thought these were really great. These are the Latex Free Foam Mini Super Blenders from Up and Up. They're just these tiny little, oh, sorry about the glare, y'all. These are these tiny little kind of beauty blender looking things that are really small. Hold on, let me get it to actually focus. Here we go. There it goes. Hello, focus. But I thought these were really nice, especially for if you were gonna be just using these kind of on the go, um, if you like it um, to be wet. Like I use not a real beauty blender, I use the, what, the Real Techniques one. And I like me, mine mean. I like mine to be a little bit damp. Uh, that helps blend my makeup a little bit better. But if I just need to blend something out or if like, 
you know, something happened. Uh, these would be great to have just on the go or in your locker. Also a little deodorant because sometimes things get smelly. And then band-aids are a must. I mean, I know that they have like a nurse and stuff at all the schools, but I just thought that this would be great, especially if you just nicked yourself and you don't really need to go to the nurse um, to just have a few band-aids on hand. And most of this stuff I did find in the travel section at Target, but um, clearly you can just, you know, grab whatever you have on hand as well. And then this is one of my favorite, favorite hand lotions. Um, it's called Hand Food by Soap and Glory. It doesn't have like a really pungent smell. I mean, it smells good, but it doesn't like, it's not super perfumey, which I think is great, especially if you're in school and you're in a big crowd, even for work, um, that would be great as well. Those are all the things that I put in my little emergency kit for school, which I thought would be really nice. Clearly you can use this bag for all different types of things. I love that now the bags are so much bigger. They did have smaller ones, which I don't believe that they're carrying on the website any longer. I actually just gave mine away because I wasn't using it for what I thought I was gonna be using it for. It was just a little too small for my needs, but I think I'm actually gonna buy one of these for myself pretty soon. Uh, maybe even the same pattern, I don't know but I just love how big they are. They definitely can fit some of the like glass containers that I have uh, and some of the reusable containers as well to like take on the road for a snack or like take it for lunch or something like that. And I don't know, I just really, really like this. And um, I like that it's also like, the fabric is also like quite, not super stretchy, but it does bend a little bit too. So you're not super conformed, but you guys know me, I really am loving and digging this pattern this year. So let me put all of the things back in here so you guys can see like how much room I still have to grow in here. All right, so it's all filled back up and clearly you can see it is not full at all. So you can definitely put lots of other things in there or have it very specific to someone's needs. If it's someone, you know, that's choosing to wear makeup, they can put some of their makeup in there or other personal items that they think they might need on the go that they might just not want to carry either in a purse or in their backpack all the time. So it's just kind of nice to kind of keep it in the locker. So if y'all are interested in seeing a little bit more on the academic planner, I forgot to say this earlier in the video, but I do have a video up on my channel and I will link it wherever it goes um, for you and um, it's just a more in-depth view on the inside and the guts of the planner and um, yeah I mean it's just like a really kind of a cool planner but it's kind of fun to see the inside before you buy right all right, so now I am set with all the things to give to Isabel. I think she's gonna be pretty excited about all of this. If you guys have specific things that you would give to someone starting school, let me know down in the comments down below what would be kind of in your emergency or essential kit that you would wanna keep in your locker. So anyway, that is gonna be it for me. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions or suggestions, make sure to put them down in the comments down below. Again, if you've got other ideas of essentials, please list them down below. I think that's a great way to have a conversation with lots of other people and give other people really great ideas as well. I'm sure there's lots of stuff I missed. So I'm gonna jet. Thank you guys for hanging out and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye guys. Well folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs> Give it to me, baby. <laughs> baby. <laughs> yeah.